Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's time now for this week in real estate with Bob Zador of the Z Team at Century 21 Realty. How are you, sir? I'm great. Been a while. It has been. It has been. You look good. Three weeks. Well, thank you. And I can't. I'm not sure I look good, but I look better. <laughs> maybe. Good. Is, good. Left good's me. a relative term. Good left me a long time ago. <laughs> I'm going to stay out of this conversation. That's a good idea for you. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's looks and then there's no looks at all. <laughs> yeah. How's things been? So it's, things have been good. Things have been good. Busy. We're still busy. Yeah. Um, market has uh, adju is adjusting. You know, it's kind of um, reading different articles, different uh, comments on interest rates and things like that, and uh, the amount of houses available. And mm -hmm. we're more concerned with other markets because that's people that are coming here. Right. You know, so that's that's what's going to affect us. Uh, with the new mortgage applications were down like 25% as of last week. Um, those are houses that aren't going to be purchased. Yeah, nationwide. Nationwide. Mm -hmm. So those are, some of that's going to obviously filter back to here. We have the advantage of people wanting to come here, and, and that's got a lot to do with it. People want to be in the Ozarks. They can come here, they can work, they can play, you know, it, and it's a growing community. I was uh, This morning I was thinking, the number of New businesses that have opened up, uh, hair salons, coffee shops, you name it, we're getting there. Yeah, you know, we right? still have several coming. Yeah, you know, and there's more on stuff the on the way. Right. Sure, sure. So when you, you, know, when you look at the uh, uh, Mountain Home uh, website for new business licenses and things like that, I mean, it's, it's a lot. Number of people that, cut, that are cutting grass that didn't do it before. People coming here from other places and are able to carry on a, a life and say, you know, I always wanted to. And there's nothing that you can't do here that if it's something that you, I always wanted to. You know, and those are the folks that go, boy, I've been thinking about coming down there for years, and boy, I wish I would have done it a few years ago. Yeah, you wish yeah. you would have. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, you about do. two years ago <laughs> yeah. before the price yeah, doubled yeah, really, yeah. anything. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, with my my extra time away um i had a little bit of time to do some of that kind of research and yeah. check things out you know and we have family my wife has some family that uh was moving into wisconsin he's in the air force a uh, young cousin is in the air force and he's looking to buy his first home and the market is so different there than it is here oh yeah you know it's those are the people that are selling there to move here right and it's it's remarkable that um, they had a loved one pass and they had to disperse of the home and you know, the house was priced at X. And I'm expecting her to tell me, well, yeah, we, we were asking this and we ended up getting this much more. And she said, oh no, that wasn't the case. We were asking this and we ended up taking this much less. And I'm, Man, that's not our market. Yeah, yeah. So but I bet it's changing. That part of it's changing too, right? It's now, changing. You can see the number of uh, price reductions that are coming in, and people being a little more realistic with where they're going to be in price. You can ask anything you want, but if you want to mm -hmm. sell, that's mm -hmm. the deal. Um, people are being, like you said, there, there aren't as many people coming in, and we've picked up like 14 more listings this week over you know the number of homes that are available. Right. Uh, that's starting to take it will be 200 so we haven't been there in a long in a while now i haven't been here for three weeks so i'm, I'm going to ask you a question if it's a something we need to talk about later that's fine but yeah. the demographics of people that are moving to the area has that changed in the last 30 days or the oh, people that are 30 days I, I, over the over over even over a short period uh, 30 days specifically but the number of people that are coming here we're getting a much younger uh, demographic that's coming in you know you talk to Jake Long about the schools and the number of students that they've got in that they didn't have last year they didn't have the year before the schools mm -hmm. are growing mm -hmm. uh, by a, an appreciable amount right uh, so it's it's not just retirees or you're getting retirees that came down like oh, I was 56 when we came here to retire you know I had had my time with time in grade with the police department I knew that it was time to go and we did and but we came down and we started a whole new life we, right so and that's what you're seeing you're getting retirees but they're not retiring they're not sitting around going to the creek throwing a rod in they're down looking for something to do okay what's going on what's going on in this place that i can 
either start something new that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I had no idea about real estate, none. <laughs> and uh, you know, like, uh, this, is this a lot? I don't, I, you know, <laughs> not, I didn't know acres from acorns. But what I had done in my previous life, there were certain people skills that you develop, and uh, I found Linda was doing it already when I got here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this, this may be a, a good transition for me. Because she said, <laughs> I started doing things around the house and tearing things up and whatnot, and she says, you got to find something to do. And so she says, why don't you get your real estate license, and we'll see, you know, maybe the two of us together, we can do something. And the rest, as they say, is history. Uh, and it's been in the works yeah history in the making yes yeah, well it is still that as well right. <laughs> uh, we but we've been blessed in a lot of ways and it was just it was a matter of being able to help people solving problems and that's something that I've done most of my life uh, police the United Center the Bulls the Hawks all the concerts rock stars whatever the case may have been uh, was they've got problems generally by the time I get to them they've got a problem that needs to be solved and that was what I did. In the years that you've been doing real estate, what do you think has been the biggest change that you've dealt with? A lot of it's the same. A lot of it's, uh, it, parts of it have changed. Uh, the laws have changed in some respects. There's different uh, disclosures have changed. Uh, the people, the market has changed. Depend is it's gone from, we came in kind of at the end of, um, we came in at the end of the the boom, then we went into the bust in oh five, six, seven, eight, and we survived that and helped a lot of people in that time. And the people that we sold houses to, uh, that were caught up in in that mortgage fiasco then, uh, we didn't have anybody who lost a house. I talked people out of houses. You know, I mean we were in a situation that we could do that. We we could say, mm -hmm. you know, don't do this. This is not a good idea for you. Wait a little bit. Don't get involved in this type of mortgage. Don't, you know, because you could just see, mm -hmm. you know. I, and it may have been that the, you know, the, the shiny not being as jaded as some of the uh, people, older agents, more mature agents, whatever the case may have been. And to be able to just tell somebody, look, give this a little more thought. You know, or we had a lot of people that ended up being, there were a lot of people in the area that ended up being house poor. They had a house. The, as the rates changed, they couldn't afford to keep the house up. They couldn't afford to buy a car. They couldn't afford groceries, furniture, things like that. And um, so, I mean, we were fortunate to be able to do that and, and help people out. Where do you see the most people coming from to look? Here. But they're still, Bob. They're still coming from all over. There just, is no, just yeah. No it's not. Place. It's not like it's little Chicago anymore. It's not There's like they're people, dumping California. Yeah, they're, 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 they're Colorado, California, Texas is still big. Um, te Texas being big, Texas is one of the states that's getting. There's a big slowdown going on. Uh, Colorado's got a big slowdown going on. Um, some states it isn't as affecting as much. You know, the people, Illinois is growing again because mm -hmm. the prices have come down because of so many people leaving that there's people you numbers are going up there actually so uh, but florida louisiana we get them from arkansas you know tennessee's always been a good state because they're similar uh, in dynamics they come over for vacation and always liked it here and found out that hey i can work from here i can you know do what i do and be successful here right being part of Century 21, probably the best known trademark. Uh, yes, sir. Out in the real estate world, how does that help you in your in your business? And how does Arkansas rank as far as the franchising of, of Century 21? What's uh, the importance of that franchise? The important the importance of the franchise is people are still. I mean, when you buy a product, it doesn't matter you from hot dog, hamburgers to pick it you know, cars, things like that. It's hard for it to get a new car dealership off the ground if people don't know who it is. Century 21 is the most recognized name in real estate. Now, they used to have the most recognized logo until some guy decided, oh, no, we, don't, we need to change that. That's too successful. But people, when you're in <laughs> that, Cleveland... That's another show. Yeah, you know, it is. When you're in Cleveland, when you're in Dallas, when you're in whatever, and you're looking for real estate, well, you start looking for 
Century 21, Remax, whatever brand names that you know that you see in your community. Now you know the Joe Blow real estate down the street who may be in your neighborhood, but you know that he's not in Mount Home. Mm -hmm. He's not in the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. They have a tendency to, and they know that if there's an issue, they can go to New Jersey, not physically, but you know, right. through internet, and say, hey, I got an issue here that needs something to be done. They don't always feel that's the case with local realtors, you know, just the mom, mom and pop type operations. And we obviously, they're not all mom and pop operations. We have some very uh, successful local realtors here. Uh, but when they're looking, that Century 21 branding makes a big difference for people. They, there's a certain trust that they feel like going in. They can go to an agent there where they're at and get information about the area here. And we do that too with referrals. We yeah, do a sense of security that they're given by having a national yeah. name and a national brand yeah. behind yeah. what it's, you guys are doing. It's good to know that you got somebody you can fall back on just in case something doesn't go as There's somebody holding your feet to the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they do, you know, if, if yeah, somebody they, calls New Jersey, that makes the phone ring <laughs> over in Jules' office pretty quick. Yeah, not only do they recognize the good, but they also bring your attention to the sure, bad. Sure, sure. And by the same token, that's also the uh, awards that we've received for customer service. That's what that's from. They send those out. They don't. That's done by them, and nobody else does that. There's nobody keeping track. I mean, you, you, most places keep track of their success by how much money came through the door. Century 21 wants to know how much money's coming through the door, but they also want to make sure that people are happy right. with what they got because they want to protect that brand. Sure. And that's got a lot to do with it. It's just them making sure that their, their product is being represented in the right way. Hmm. And we've done our best to do that. I mean, we've been, uh, we've been Century 21 for a long time. I mean, it's been, we've been very successful with them. They've been successful with us. Uh, we've been the number one team in the state for a number of years, um, and it's been it's been a good run with that. Been a good run. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at some numbers. Speak to me, Almighty One. There we are. This week in real estate, there were 58 new listings came on the market. Three commercial properties, 21 parcels of land, 34 homes came on the market, ranging in price from 50,000 to 1.3 million. Six of those 34 had taken backups. Uh, there were 25 sales, eight parcels of land, 17 homes sold which is down, uh, 17 homes sold ranging in price from 58,000 to 499,000. Average sale price this week was 239 with 104 days on market, uh, $4 million in residential real estate closed this past week. Three properties expired, 32 had price changes. Uh, so you can kind of, it gives you an idea of where we are. There's currently, we're at 210 homes are listed on the MLS, so we're up 14 from last week. Uh, but It'll be better, I think it'll be better for the, some of the first time home buyers and for people that are looking to do, I mean, we need more homes to be on to give people more choices to mm -hmm. make and make it worthwhile to come down. It's hard to get somebody to drive down from Chicago to just look at one house. Right. And yeah. you can't blame them. I mean, so year to date, there's been 576 homes have sold for $126 million. Average sale price this year is $220,000 with 86 days on market. For 21, there had been 613 homes that sold for 118 million with an average sale price of 192 with 97 days on market. So you can start to see last year is picking up. We're starting to slow down a little bit. Last year was is starting to really roll now because you're coming into the prime buying season mm -hmm. for the year. You get into the spring, early summer. Uh, people that are get kids in school people that were driving down just to kind of see what was here and going, oh yeah, this is it. Because you know, you know, it's like when you walk in the door with someone, when you're showing a house, you walk in the door and you get that little, this is done, it's done. And take their, literally take your breath away is a pretty good sign for the realtor when you walk through with somebody. Yeah. Good deal. Things are still rolling in the real estate. They're world. still rolling. They're still rolling. I, th I think that we're going to see them normalize, quote unquote, a little more. Um, the rates are going to. They're still aiming up. Uh, you could end up if you get if you can get yourself locked into a mortgage right now. If you're looking for a home, one, give us a call. Give my honey a call. But if you can get yourself locked in, 
and buy something, it seems like the rates are high, but in, historically they're not as high as it, they're obviously higher than they've been over the past couple of years. It's a big jump from two and a half to five and a quarter, five and a half. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a lot better than if you're looking six months from now and they're seven, which they could be. I mean, I, but I don't think I'm too far from wrong. You're going to look like a genius. 30-year fixed, 15-year fixed is even better. How do they get you? Give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. The website's retiretoarkansas.net. Uh, just all been revamped, and it's much easier to search. It's easy to find things. Uh, there's a bunch of contact me, and uh, we'll get back to you. We'll do whatever we can do to help you out. 870-405-0793. Thanks for joining us. This has been This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zador, Century 21 Realty, here in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Again, that number to get a hold of Bob or Linda is 870-405-0793. Thanks for watching. See you in the morning.